Right guys, seeing as I did a, a video tutorial on how to capture using uh, the Dazzle, so capturing from a console, I decided I'd also do a video on how to uh, capture from your PC. And um, this uh, free program called Debut Video Capture Software, it's a free download and uh, it's a trial version, but it's not a trial version like most things. It doesn't leave a dirty watermark over your video like Hypercam does if you don't register it. Um, it's not like a 30 day trial, like Fraps or anything like that, and one of them. And it's also not one of those, we're only going to um, we're only going to render half of your video until you purchase the real version. The only difference with this, the reason it's a free trial, is it only lets you render in three different um, formats. WMV, ASI, AVI even, and ASF. A ASF is something similar to WMV, doesn't really matter. Anyway, I use WMV. <clears throat> when I'm rendering because it's less quality but it's better like following the mouse it's not as jittery and slow you get more frames um, but that's always dependent on your processor and I'm running on a laptop so it's not very good um, so I'm going to go through a few of the things on it I'm actually recording this video on it right now so um, I'll show you some of the features um, you can record from webcam that's how I do my vlogs I use the webcam setting and record off of it you can record from device which means you would be able to connect up your Dazzle or H, HD PVR and capture um, software like that, able to hook it up and then record straight from it. And uh, what I'm doing now is you're able to capture the screen. Uh, and when you're capturing the screen, you go down to these options. You can either capture the whole screen, which is what I'm doing now, I just have that set by default. You can capture a, your own little bits, you can highlight a bit you want to capture, say if I only wanted to capture this window here, I just uh, click that button and highlight this window. I'm not going to do it now because I'm in the middle of recording and that will break things, but you do that. You can also add things like color video effects, like add tints and things, add your own text, add your own watermark, and take snapshots. So if you want to take a picture of yourself, you can go on your webcam, take a snapshot, you can take a snapshot of your screen, of the device you're recording from, and uh, stuff like that. Um, schedule. Um, is automatic recording so you can set a schedule to say record every day at three o'clock or something like that but I never use that. The recordings is um, play and manage the recordings you've got in your output folder. For me my output is uh, just my desktop so you can see this is the recording now, this is this video, this is where it goes to. Um, options, I'll go through some of the options with you. Um, devices, so if you, if you want to use your webcam there's my webcam. Video capture device, I guess that would be your Dazzle or whatever you've got connected. Uh, but for now I'm using screen capture, so that's selected. Uh, sound device is default sound in, uh, which I've got as uh, my microphone here. And then you can just audio input, you can change what audio you want. Um, for output, I have it going to my desktop. And also you can you can uh, set what, what its file name is. So it would it would like be percentage. So you could start as untitled zero. You can name that my video, and then it would be my video zero, my video one, my video two, and so on and so far. Uh, hotkeys. I can't remember. I think it's, you can add hotkeys to like um, to pause recording, to stop recording, to close the window down. You can add your own hotkeys there. I I don't bother. I just click. Um, and other things which I've never actually gone into this tab. Things like run the thing when you start up. Uh, limit your recording time so you don't go over recording and uh, there's recording tones that are automatically turned on so every time you start recording it makes like a, a beep noise to let you know it start recording I turn that off because it's a bit annoying and I have to keep cutting it cutting my video at the beginning of every time and um, there's more just sounds and then minimize the window before starting screen capture meaning it minimizes itself before it actually starts recording but I brought it back up in the beginning and other stuff it doesn't really matter so leave that as okay. Um, upgrade is upgrade to the um, the full version and as I've said the trial version just limits what you can uh, render as and to be honest WMV and AVI are pretty much solid that's all you'd ever use. The, there's other ones uh, you can render straight to ones that are like MPEG, um, MOV if you're using a Mac that's if you buy the um, the upgraded version. The toolbox is something I've never used. It's like it gives you software for video editing and stuff like that. But I use a uh, Vegas Pro 9 down here, so that doesn't matter to me. Um, what you can't see now is because I'm already recording is um, things like options, encoder options, which lets you set the uh, bit rate and the uh, audio quality and stuff like that, and edit output, which um, 
edit output lets you say um, um, you can specify a width uh, and a frame rate and things like that. So you can specify I don't want I want um, it to be compressed down to a certain width or I want it to be lowered to a certain amount of frames. Um, it should be going at 30 frames per second. It's only running at 10 frames per second, but that's um, that's just because of my um, my laptop. It's got a basic dual core 2 gigahertz processor, so it can't do that much. Um, now I'll give you some of the uses of it. Apart from webcam um, device and screen capture, I'd say if you have a good enough computer, you could probably use it to uh, capture games. As far as I know, it will capture when you go into full screen. I don't think it needs to be windowed. Um, I haven't actually been able to properly test this out because I don't have any games installed on this laptop. Um, because, um, but when I went with uh, like a video file and I, I right clicked and said go full screen, it still managed to uh, capture that. But I don't know if that's quite the same as a, a game's full screen. So you might have to window games before you capture them. But yeah, um, if you have any problems, it's probably process. It's probably your processor related. If it's slow or laggy, it's just it's only as good as your computer which is um, the thing with most software. It'll only run as well as your computer can handle it. Um, so I think that's it for now. Um, I'll leave a link to the uh, download of this piece of software in the uh, description. Uh, so you can go download it. Um, any questions, leave a comment. Uh, that's about it. I uh, hope this tutorial uh, helped you guys. Uh, see you later.